Hello everyone. Today, me and my team will be explaining you our data science project which is music channel classification using KNN algorithm. I am Ms. Prachi Kaldip from Information and Technology Department. My teammates are Shreya Jamshekar from Computer Department, Pranjil Patil from Information and Technology Department, Sudisha Jhare from Information and Technology Department. We all are from Bharti Vidyapit Women's College of Engineering, Pune. Moving forward, what is music general classification? Most of you may say that music cannot be classified, but you all are wrong. Music can be classified taking into consideration multiple aspects, which can be the background music, the lyrics, the pitch of the singer, and many more. So why music genre classification? You all might have observed when you go through the music softwares, you get recommendations very fast. So how music genre classification helps the recommendation system to catch the genre of a specific customer. And then they recommend the same genre music to you. So hence, I'll be explaining you the libraries used for our project. Speaking about the first library, it is the SkyPy library. Now SkyPy library is used to visualize the data, manipulate the data. And also it is used for high level Python commands. Speaking about the NumPy, NumPy library has the functions which helps us for mathematical and logical operations. As we will be using KNN algorithms, we have multiple operations to be performed. Hence NumPy is a useful library in that case. Moving forward for Pandas, Pandas is something which helps us for working with the data sets. Pandas has multiple functions for analyzing, cleaning, exploring and manipulating data. Pandas can also be referred as Python data analysis. Now the OS library. When we develop a software, our software should interact with the operating system to work smoothly. Hence OS library provides us the function for interacting with the operating system. OS and OS path are the modules which helps us man with many functions to interact with the file system. As we will be using the KNN algorithm, mathematics or the math function is used. The math library helps us to perform the common functions related to map. We can also perform complex, complex mathematical computations. Now the pickle library. Pickle library is used for serializing and deserializing a Python object structure. Now Python can be in Python object can be pickled so that it can be saved on the disk. In our module, we might save the genre or the music file on the disk. Moving forward, random library. Random library helps us to generate random variables or to select random elements from a list. In our module, we need random library for selecting a music file randomly and predicting its genre. Now when it comes to software development, we need to take into consideration the customer's side, which is very important, which is graphical user interface. Tkinder is the standard library, which is used by Python programmers for GUI building because it provides a fast 
and easy way to create GUI applications. The further part of our project will be explained by Pranjal Patel. Thank you Prachi. Hello everyone, myself Pranjal Patel. Now we will see an algorithm which is Neber's algorithm. In short, KNN algorithm. First we will see introduction of this algorithm. The KNN algorithm is simplest machine learning algorithm based on supervised learning technique. What is supervised learning? So, supervised learning technique means it is defined by its use of label data set to train algorithms that to classify data or predict outcomes accurately. Coming to KNN, it assumes the similarity between new data and available data which is stored previously with specific label in data set and then classify the new data into the category that is most similar to available data. In KNN, we need to determine the value of k. So this k is nothing but nearest points or nearest neighbors to our new data point. For this value of k, there is no particular formula to calculate this value k. So we just need to try some best values and select the value of k. In KNN algorithm, we need to calculate the distance between the points by using one formula that is Euclidean distance formula. For example, suppose we want to calculate the Euclidean distance between point A1 and B1. So the formula will be under root x2 minus x1 bracket square plus y2 minus y1 bracket square. Now we will see working of the k nearest neighbors algorithm. So here in the first diagram, as we can see, we have one new data point and two categories that is category A and category B. First we will calculate the Euclidean distance between this point, new data point and the all neighbor points. After calculating this distance, we will come to know that from category A, there are three neighbors near to our new data point and from category B, there are two neighbors near to our new data point. So after this, we come to know that our new data point is belongs to category A. Now we will see the KNN implementation in music genre classification. In music genre classification, we will use KNN as classification of new music or audio file based on previously stored the different labeled music genre data set. For this model, the input file will be audio file or any music file which user will select. And after selecting the audio file or music file, we will calculate the distance between that new audio file and the neighbors of that audio file. After calculating the distance, which distance is minimum or near to our new audio file, we will categorize our new audio file into that general category. So this is how our model will look. Music file will be our input to our KNN model. In this KNN model, we will find out the neighbors and then calculate the Euclidean distance and in the output, we will get the general of that audio file. So that's all from my side. Thank you everyone. Now I will hand over to my teammate Sudisha Zare. Thank you. Hello, thank you Pranjal. Uh, now I will be continuing henceforth. 
and I'll be talking about the uh, MFCCs, aka Mel Frequencies of Stroke Coefficients and Feature Extraction using it. So, <clears throat> MFCC is a feature that we would be seeing very commonly in any uh, machine learning algorithm which involves uh, feature extraction using audio files or speech files. Uh, now, as we know that any sound produced by humans uh, is determined by like is determined by the shape of their vocal tract and it also includes the shape of their teeth and tongue etc so if uh, this shape can be correctly uh, determined then any sound produced can be accurately represented and the envelope of the time power spectrum of the speech signal is representative of the vocal tract and MFCC that is uh, the coefficients that make up the male frequency spectrum and which will accurately represent the envelope uh, yeah then generally uh, the first 13 coefficients or the lower dimensions are taken as um, as the features as they represent uh, the envelope of the spectra and the higher dimensions are uh, either discarded or they are not taken into consideration um, uh, when we are determining the uh, model now let's talk about feature extraction this is a very important uh, part of any model uh, for any machine learning or AI algorithm so extracting is uh, important for analyzing and finding the relation between different things so that we can predict insights and the data uh, provided of audio cannot be understood by the model directly uh, so it needs to convert them into understandable format feature extraction is used so it is a process which explain most of the data but in an understandable way which is understood by the model feature extraction is required for classification uh, prediction and also recommendation algorithms uh, now the audio signal is, uh, is a, a three-dimensional audio signal and uh, in which three axes represent time uh, the <clears throat> Uh, amplitude uh, in which three axes represent time uh, amplitude frequency uh, so uh, the packages that we were uh, we will be using consist of Librosa for analyzing and extracting the features of audio signal and for playing the audio we will use Pi audio so that we can play the music on uh, our uh, editor directly all uh, right then um, So the features which we, uh, we extract after all the uh, processes that is uh, frame blocking. So in frame blocking what happens is uh, the, the audio file is split, it, uh, is split up into multiple sections. It is like the, the generally the uh, length should be 25 milliseconds. Uh, it is done so that uh, it, it, the model can analyze the pitch frequency and um, tone of uh, of all the sounds in that particular region and so uh, framing that is done after which the windowing uh, takes place and after windowing is done first Fourier transform is applied um, after uh, after the four fast Fourier transform it uh, it will generate a spectrum uh, which will be uh, wrapped okay it will wrap it will be wrapped and the melt uh, spectrum will uh, then provide our sepstrum which will and which will envelop all the um, all the audio signals and their properties including the tone pitch frequency range etc etc and uh, lastly lastly what happens is uh, the uh, f the um, features will be extracted in such a format where uh, the uh, x axis will determine the time in seconds and the mfcc coefficients which will be determined on the 
on the y-axis and on basis of this plotting the model will be able to recognize in which uh, in which category does the particular sound file fall into because we will be training our model in such a way that the 75 to 80 percent files will be uh, will be kept for training the model and for testing the model will keep the re rest so after we have trained the model it will uh, it will have all the database uh, which will have all these uh, steps from um, spectrum spectrograms sorry this is a called a spectrogram and after which it will be able to classify uh, the audio files into all those 10 genres so that will be it from my side now uh, Shreya will continue so here you go Shreya thank you hello everyone so this part will be explaining the code and we will show you how the output is so this code includes both the ui part and the training and testing part so let's go to the start um, here tikenter as prachi has mentioned is the library that is used for the ui these libraries have already been well explained so i will skip to the main part here now this is part of the tikenter and pygame libraries which is used in the user interface you can see that there are different functions play song stop song pause song unpause song and uh, we have used the library from pygame called mixer so if you can see up here we have imported from pygame we have imported mixer so that is used to play different different songs and um, we'll be using it uh, i'll be showing the output in just a few minutes and we will be able to see how that works now this part is the backend or the integration part these are the functions we have later called them this is for calculating the distance this is for getting the neighbors so as you know we are using knn algorithm so we are using it to get the neighbors um this is for the training set part please remember that uh, you know we all know that while uh, doing machine learning we take a data set we divide it as uh, 80 20 percent 80 is the training set and 20 is the testing set here is the nearest uh, class algorithm uh, nearest class function and the last function is the get accuracy so in get accuracy what happens is uh, we the testing set uh, we try to figure out how much our model is uh, is accurate as per the as as if the training has been effective and the percentage of accuracy that the model can test or guess the genre of a music uh, correctly so again here we have uh, the ui part here again we use tinkerter the tinkerter self object is the most important part of this whole thing uh, self is basically the instantiation of the class here we have the class music player so self is used to make sure that whatever we've created uh, in this ui has an object and that object is called self now uh, tikenter is a bit hard to use we have to specify everything from the geometry you can see her here we have we had to mention the font where exactly it's going to be um, the the vd the fg which is basically the uh, background and the front ground uh, the border and here you can see we have the coordinates x equal to zero y equal to zero uh, and the width and height so we have used different parts of tikenter we have label frame which is the outer part of the labels soundtrack has the labels present inside of it basically we are we are displaying the different types of songs that are there in that in the file that we have mentioned so label track status basically the song that we are going to play then we have the button frame so button frame is also another type of label frame in which we have mentioned buttons like pause play you can see a pause play stop okay then we have the song list which is also a label frame we have the scroll bar uh, and here like i said we have mentioned the directory okay this for loop here you can see is for uh, inserting those songs that are mentioned in this file onto 
uh, onto the song list or the label frame that is mentioned in the UI. So it is inserting uh, the, the tracks in song tracks one by one. Song tracks is basically the directory. Uh, this is also one of the libraries that was mentioned, OS. Then going to the next part, oh, this part is basically what I mentioned above, the current song that is being played. Uh, we can see over here, uh, track status. Okay, this label has in front of it the this uh, status playing. All right, going to the next part, this was the UI, the whole part of the UI, so I won't explain that much. The next part here is about, uh, again, the backend or integration part. Here, the main thing that we'll have to remember is it goes through each and every audio file that we have mentioned uh, during the training and testing set. I will show you that set. So if you can see here, we have already gave it a few categories. So if you look at audio, uh, we'll just give it a second. All right. So if you can see here in audio, we have mentioned almost 100 classical songs. Similarly, there are other audio files. So these are 30, 30 seconds of uh, audio files so that the model will be able to learn from them. OK, uh, so we have uh, 10 categories that we tested or trained the model with. All right, so it goes through each one and the functions that we saw above, the mean matrix and all the theory that we just learned before, these are the functions that it's called. So MFCC, the matrix transpose, the covariance, which we all saw before. Uh, here you can see it takes the signal, it takes the rate, it takes the length and the append energy. So this function was explained before. Then going to, okay, yeah, so we kept some file form as so that uh, to make sure that it is actually reading all the files. So you can see here that it couldn't understand uh, jazz file 0 .0, uh, 54th audio file. So that is just one exception that we kept. Uh, again, like I mentioned here, uh, we've split the data set into training and data set. This is the uh, test set. So this is that, uh, this is that function. Then we make the prediction using KNN algorithm. Here you can see that we use the get accuracy, get neighbors uh, functions. Then going to, uh, this is again the directory in which it takes one one, uh, you can say song and, or it takes one one audio file. And then it puts, it puts the results into an array. Okay, so, um, here we'll directly jump to this part here here is actually where the genre comes we just printed it here to make sure that uh, we can actually see it uh, this genre result function has been defined so that we can actually see this output again in the ui so i will play it now i'll mention a few things here i actually ran this code before so that uh, we can see the output directly i have kept the category as pop so uh, regardless of the file whichever music or whichever song list you put into it, we will get the output. We've put pop uh, genre here so that we know that the output is correct. So I'll just run this. And uh, I'll come in just a second. Okay, yeah. So I'll just play a song for you so that you uh, will hear, be able to hear a pop song. And we can check that this genre is definitely pop. So we'll play one more uh, genre so that we'll get a good idea of how this works. So let's go for um, a rock song. Okay. Again, these are just names so that we'll be able to confirm that the audio that is playing is actually rock. So here I've changed it so that the songs that are fetched are rock songs and it is displayed in the output as well. All right, let me just run this quickly. Uh, where did it go? Okay, we need to run this. We need, and then we can run. 
Oh, and one more thing I mentioned. Yeah. So the accuracy of this model is 65%. That is because of our training set. If we had a larger training set, it would definitely be bigger. Then we do this. Then we do this. All right. So we have rock songs. We'll listen to one rock song. Make it and we can definitely see that the genre is rock. So that is how this works. Also, one more thing that we wanted to show was the, uh, the during the training set, these were some of the images that we had created according to the audio files. So we can take a look at that. The, this is for each and every category and uh, each and every song. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this and if uh, we hope to see you again soon.